So what can cause a timing belt to lose a tooth? Well, we're gonna find out next. This video is sponsored by Ina, a Scheffler brand. Visit repexpert.us for more information. If you get a vehicle in, well, in the timing belt, it's actually missing some teeth. It could be on a vehicle that just had it changed or a vehicle that may have 80 to 100,000 miles on it. The missing teeth, well, the typical culprit is low tension on the belt. Low tension on the belt, well, that causes a shock load. Typically, a shock load happens when the engine is either speeding up, slowing down, or there's another event taking place on the engine, like let's say a variable valve timing actuator is activating. Those shock loads cause a stress on the belt, and this is what causes the teeth to break off of it. Low tension, it's typically caused by not following the manufacturer's recommendations for installation and setting the tension on the belt. Other reasons, well, it could be reusing a part, like let's say a water pump, a tensioner, or a idler pulley that will wear out over time and cause the tension to be lost with a new belt. So every time you're replacing a belt, make sure you're using the complete kit to address all these issues that can cause a loss of tension on a belt. And for your final tip, well, make sure that every time you install a belt, rotate the engine over at least twice and then measure the tension. This way you can check the alignment marks and also check the tension to make sure that that belt is in the right environment. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.